So let's take a look at it. Um, let's take a look when we use the larger time frame with the shorter time frame to find entries. So what we want to do is we have our chart set up like this in the trading room and also the workspaces that we send out to on your own computer. And you have a larger time frame, which is the we call the our own Rinko bar, which is called the 8 Sim Rinko. 8 Sim Rinko over here on the far left. And then we have a smaller time frame called the 5 Sim Rinko. So we can have smaller stops on entries. This is the S&P 5 Sim Rinko. So what we want to do is we want to see when the larger time frame is in alignment with the smaller time frame to give you ultimate trend confluence. So what I like to see is I like to see this chart over here, the 8 sim, like it has been this morning, it's been trending down since what, around 4 o'clock this morning. You see total red dots, that means one thing, that we want to look and we want to trade shorts only. But when you're in a downtrend on the 8 sim, you want to look at the 5 sim for possible retracement entries. So when we do that, it allows us to have smaller stops and it allows us to pinpoint these setups. So if you noticed, <clears throat> every since this morning, they, they, they lined up together. So over here, we started around 4.15 this morning. We started a downtrend on the larger time frame. But we didn't start a downtrend on the, on the smaller time frame until a little bit later. So you can see they did not agree at the same time. So a larger time frame is the first thing we want to look at, the 8 sim Renko. So it started at, uh, what, 407. So I go to 407 here, you can see 407, the smaller time frame is in a minor uptrend, right? So we don't want to take those trades. We don't want to take trades against a larger trend. You don't want to take setups against a larger trend. You want to take setups with the larger setup, I mean larger uh, uh, Simrenko, the 8 Simrenko. When the 8 and the 5 line up, you get ultimate trend confluence. So when you start seeing the 8 trend down, <clears throat> start moving down like this, start seeing red dots, you really want the 5 to start printing red dots also for short setups. Now we got complete trend uh, direction to the downside. So what we want to do then is now that we have <clears throat> complete red, we'll look at today's trades, and then we'll look at what we're looking at next, is we want to basically see opposite color speed bars that come in to look for the setup. It called the swing high again today. <clears throat> Excuse me, swing high again today. Beautiful trades yesterday, which I'll show you. Huge moves in the S&P. Um, so if you look, there's our first green bars at print. That's opposite of our ATR. That's what we want to see. That's catching the wrongly positioned traders, wrongly positioned algos, the counter trend traders. So we want to see those green bars start printing against ATR trend. So we want to see red ATRs, green boxes at print. Once we see that, then we want to look and we want to use the oscillator to blow to fire us in the trade. So if we look at today's trading. There's our green boxes say get ready for the trade set up. They start forming at 6 o'clock this morning. The setup happened around 6.05, five minutes later. Because look at your oscillator below, your oscillator uh, started going back down through the 90%, and you can use 80, 90, whatever you prefer, or whatever pull-in you want to use. But you can see that magenta goes below red there, or red below red. So your entry is at this bar up here, so your fill would be the low of this bar, this candle. There's your fill at the low of the candle. Your stop can be 12 ticks, hard stop, or you can use a... Um, or you can use a uh, outside of the ATR if you want. I prefer just doing two ticks above the swing high, which is around a 12 tick stop. That is a great way to look at it. So you can see that's a nice move on the first retracement we had. These moves are not small in the S&P. That's a 50, almost 7, down to a 42, 56 to 42. So, you know, you're looking at a 16 point move on the S&P just on that one setup this morning. Then we come back up again. And the best setups are when you come up to the zone. These are zones. The best setups you're going to get are when you come up to the zones 
because you know your ultimate stop would be outside the zone. You don't want to get outside the zone and you don't look for setups no more. But you want to see these green green boxes print and, and come right at the zone. We had a couple more trades this morning, but they never reached the zone. Right here's one that happened this morning. We had a, caught the rolling position traders, got a green box that printed. The oscillator pulled you in at that level below 90, at that level. And then we had another one that fired off again right here. Red ATRs, opposite color speed bars, another possible entry this morning at 7.30. There's your oscillator going below 90%. So you can use the oscillator to, to, to help you out as far as that goes. Now, what we have now is we have, um, we have red dots that are printing this morning, and this is a opposite color speed bar, and the top, it got called the top again, here just a second ago I'm doing this video but do we have hard trend yet no we do not because if you look over on the 8 Simrinko we don't have any red dots that are printing so you don't have ultimate trend confluence so what you can do to cherry pick your trades yes this is a nice top that just happened at 8 30 this morning right here the fill would have been the low of this bar 42.50 it got as low as 43 and a quarter almost seven S&P points that happened in a matter of two three minutes you can see it getting rejected off market profile over here also. So that is a setup according to our methodology. You got red dots printing, opposite color speed bars, oscillator pulling you in. But look at the 8 sim. Are we trending? No. So you don't have ultimate trend confluence. When you get ultimate trend confluence, and I'll show you because I was in here with uh, yesterday, and I saw this move. Coming up, and I talked to traders about this move also. So when you get on the opposite side and you get trend confluence, so here is the 8 Simrinko, and we had several of these yesterday, fired at 12.16, green dots this time. So when green dots fire and you go back to 12.16 yesterday, I'll show you a couple trades that lined up. If you look at 12.16 yesterday, here we go. Look at this. You got ultimate confluence. Because what you're doing is you're letting the 8 sim Rinko line it up from 12.16 all the way to 1 o'clock. So for 45 minutes, you had a big, giant possible move up. So you can see our ATR dots called the big move up. And then it called this swing. Now, now watch how the oscillator, if you use the magenta over 90s, like what I like to use the best. So in the beginning, here we got trend dots that start printing. There's our opposite color speed boxes that tell us we're trying to catch the rolling position counter trend traders. Right there, big volume spike. That's typical reversals. That's what this algo picks up. That's why this algo is very very unique so right there is a possible reversal we can use the magenta above the 90 percent some traders like the magenta above 80 percent there's your fill depending here or here your stop loss is below the swing and then the market just explodes your fill on that was 4209.50 and look at the potential on that guy it just took off you know, you're talking about over 50 S&P point potential move, and the algo caught the low. Then we come up here on the next retracement. I like using the magenta the best, over 90 or 80, depending on how you want to do it. There, you got the speed bars. Our oscillator does not pull us in. There's a magenta. Right there is above 90 or above 80 if you want to be a little bit more conservative on the move after it gets going. So your fill again on the upside, another huge push-up that called yesterday. Because the 8 sim is in alignment, it's going up. And then we push higher to the upside. If you see right there, we get a big push. Blow it up for you a little bit. And then the S&P takes off again. Your fill is a high of the bar, 57. And she just screams up. And then we get a nice little push up from 57 to 80. So over 23 S&P point potential. You know, so, you know, when it lines up, it did it again. Before that, you had alignment. 
to the downside. Then we had the big alignment to the upside. So if I look at the nine o'clock one, and I was in here when this happened, 937, eight sim is trending hard up. We go back to 937 on the smaller time frame. And if you check, if you look what happens is you get a big push, but you you want to make sure you align. So this alignment, right? If it's against overall ATR trend, then you want to stay away. If this ATR is green and green, you got ultimate alignment. You want to see them match up because when they match up, you know, like today, right here we got the five Simrenko saying that was a short at the high, but we're really not trending down hard. Now play the previous video that I did. How do we use market profile then over here? How can we use it? If you play my previous video, you'll understand this is the same price action that we deal with every single day. Is I like to look at these two charts first. I like to say, hey, what is my trend? Am I trending hard down or up right now? And I'm not because I don't have red dots or green dots printing on my larger time frame. But secondly, as I like to look at market profile and say, hey, am I mildly bearish or bullish? Or am I very bearish or very bullish? And the best way to do it and play the previous video, and you'll see that I, I went over this on some setups that happened Wednesday that did the same thing. If you're below the blue control point, that's the most volume is traded. You can see it tested it here. And then it tested it, broke it, and retested it. An ABC pattern short there in market profile. But then if you're below blue, you're mildly bearish. So here you're mildly bearish. So if you wanted to trade a market profile and just trade off this, you can. You can trade this cell setup using the volume spike right there or the speed bar for the reversal at this level because you're, you're bearish. You're below the control point, right? But you're mildly bearish, right? You're still mildly bearish. That's a mildly bearish trade right here. There to there, it went all the way down to low value area. That's how you can use market profile. Now, if I get below, if I get below <coughs> green, I have no underlying support according to market profile. This is all the volume that's in the market. This is volume profile, the big red, blue, green. That's taking all the algos, all the professional traders, amateur traders. You know, it's taking all the volume and calculating these levels. I got no underlying support below me. So you may hook up on yesterday's profile here a little bit. And, you know, but this is major, major support right here when we if we get through lva this morning and you start seeing price action cut right through here and this five minute bar goes straight down through what do i want to see what i want to see and i went over this on wednesday's video because it did exactly what i anticipated it would do i said the same thing i want to see it cut through the market profile and i want to see these dots start printing on the eight and five sim and sure enough it did and it tanked so you know, we want to see the same thing today. We want to see it get through this support level. Remember, market profiles profiling the entire market. It's not our opinion. Our opinions mean nothing. This is actually order flow that's going in with all the volume in the market on the S&P. If it cuts through that level, we just broke major support. I got no underlying support below me. Then I want to see my eight sims start printing red dots. And then I want to see trades to fire in on the five sim Renko, I want to see opposite color speed bars to time the trade and then pull in with the oscillator. All right, so that's how you use market profile. Vice versa, uh, the other blue line is a VWAP. If I get the VWAP crossing down through the control point on my settings, you're pretty much in a downtrend. If my VWAP is above the control point, I'm in an uptrend. So I like to look at it that way. So if I get above the control point then, I get above the control point price action. I'm mildly bullish until I get up to HVA. And if I get outside of HVA and I'm above the control point, both of them, I'm a full bull. I want to take no shorts at all. So this below both, you take no longs, period. No buys. You're counter trend trading the entire order flow of the market. And this has worked since 1985 for price profile and 1994 for volume profile. It is a fantastic tool to use. No sells. All right, so then you can take sells below the control point, just like this one, because you are going with order flow. This is a sell that just happened at 
So your entry would be when your oscillator goes below the 90%, your entry is this bar right, or this candle right there. And caught that nice short with the small stop. Because you're, you're letting the order flow time your entry. You're going with, you're profiling the market over here, the entire market, and you're using an ATR and a, a volume surge. These volume spikes are what I call the speed bars to look for possible reversals and the oscillator to pull you in. So that's how you can do it. No, no buys. That, so if we cut through this low value area this morning, we're looking for no buys at all. We want to cut through. I want to see the eight start printing red dots, green start printing red dots. And here's what it will look like. It will look like this, like it happened this morning. You'll see these dots start printing right there. You'll start seeing stair stepping down red dots on the larger time frame. And the smaller time frame will look like this, just like this morning's trade. That is trend alignment. You got market profile going with you. If I get below low value area, I got nothing but open air below me, no support. I got my ATR 8 SIM printing red dots. I got my 5 SIM printing red dots. And this is my ultimate entry when you get your first green boxes at print. According to my methodology, according to how this software was designed, there's no reason to take any trades unless you get optic color speed boxes that come against ATR trend because you're trying to catch a rolling position traders. This isn't this isn't something where we're just guessing where a possible entry is. This is pinpointing. This is your roadmap. Roadmap is the 8 and 5 SIM to pinpointing major reversals. And I don't care what market we look at. We can look at the S&P. We, we can look at crude oil. It really doesn't matter what markets that you look at. It's the same exact setup. It's the same exact setup that we use every single day on any given market. So when we look at these setups then, we are trying to find this major inflection point. And like I said, it doesn't matter if we look at that or if we look at crude oil or whatever we look at. If I look at crude oil, the same thing is the same thing. Or you look at the YM or you look at the Russell 2000. You know, we're trying to find trend alignment. So what we try to do is we're trying to look for offset color speed bars against overall trend. So if I'm in a hard trend like this, I'm still looking for the same type of setup. I'm looking for an offset color speed bar. It fires there and there. Oscillator doesn't pull us in until above 90% here. And you see that big low caused on crude oil. You try to find when you're getting reversals in these markets. So you look for offset color speed bars to fire yourself in these trades. And it works on, like I said, any given market. You're looking for these zones to touch, but you want to look for ultimate trend. You want to see ultimate trend with the eight and five lining up or with market profile, you know, doing that also.